Hello everybody. Today I want to do a bit of a quick video, just a really quick one, on uh, the GNOME Shell, or GNOME Free, fallback mode. Now, uh, a lot of people, it seems I've seen on the Fedora forums and anywhere else on the internet, there are so many people that don't understand or don't realize that um, the, GNOME, the GNOME Free fallback mode is actually a bit more configurable than you might first think. Uh, usually people, you know, they'll, they'll start it up and or they'll be forced into fallback mode or they prefer it thinking that it'll be obviously how it has it supposed to be closer to the design of GNOME 2 and then they click around they you know uh, ignoring um, the fact that I've uh, actually no that, that's default just don't mind that uh, anyway they click around on the panels and they they think they right click and they can't actually they can't get anything to work you know they can't click on anything to to move them or anything like that and they just don't understand it and they're, and they're thinking what's with this there's no configurability but um, well it's very simple all you got to do is hold down the alt button and then right click and then you'll get all the options that you used to so you can delete a panel like say you want to delete this bottom panel here go on see simple as that same with adding things to the panel so right alt plus right click and then you've got add to panel and that is how that works now I can't remember whether the fallback mode has the um, the the desktop handling by default, but if not, get the GNOME Tweak tool from your repository, and then of course you can add the file manager, as I've said in an earlier video, have the file manager handle the desktop. Anyway, so other than that, as I said again, add to panel, simple, simple, you can add whatever you like, you can add to you, most of the applets you're used to, I don't know if there's quite as many as what there was in GNOME 2, but there is pretty much all the, the basic ones, so they're easy, and you can add them, and um, that one probably, that was a weather one, it didn't Oh no, there it is. You just gotta add the preferences. Okay. So now, like I said, and so you can add uh, whatever you like, add in the desktop. You can move them by again Alt and right clicking. Move them wherever you like. Remove it from panel. Move and yeah, really, really simple. And so yeah. Uh, yep, and of course you can adjust the properties of the panel, the transparency, or whatever. Um, they don't go quite as small as what GNOME 2 panels used to, but anyway, whatever. You can still adjust the size, expand, and there we go, and we had a little crash, but anyway. Anyway, so there are still some issues, of course, and um, I didn't actually expect that to happen, but there you go. Anyway. It is a bit more configurable than you might realize. You can still add your stuff. You can still swap out your menus, remove them, whatever you like. So have a go at that if you want to. Also, it's also possible to um, to use compares with this instead of the default metacity. You know, you can see the little it's metacity. You can uh, use compares with it. Oh, I won't go into that. It's pretty simple. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to uh, Mr. Massive Meat Man, I believe it is. He's on his channel. He has a really good video on adding. Um, comp is to gnome free fallback so you can get based you know all the effects and you can get much more of a gnome 2 like plus comp is experience so anyway give that a go guys let me know what you think and uh, yeah see you later